Want to speed up your language learning? Get access to all of our best PDF cheat sheets for free. Just click the link in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Hi everyone, welcome to Ask Kajin. My name is Kajin. 안녕하세요, Kajin입니다. In this series, I'll answer your Korean questions. So if you have any questions, please let me know by clicking the link in the description. Or you can go to koreanclass101.com slash ask hyphen Kajin. So ask me any questions. Today, I picked questions related to 받침, the final consonant in Korean, part one. Here's the first question from Gretchen. Thank you, Gretchen. What is a 받침? So, let me show you what is 받침 in this word. 목요일, 목요일. 목요일 means Thursday. And do you see this square? This square kind of sounds like M in English, like 목, 목, 목. And do you see this, this sound? This sound is kind of like O, O, O. Now, let's see this. John, this is kind of like K. I put the English romanization here to help you understand, but Korean pronunciation is different from English pronunciation, so it's not exactly like K. But anyway, I broke down this syllable, so it's kind of like M-O-K, mok, mok, mok in Korean. So the first one, this is consonant, right? This first syllable is not pachim, it's just first syllable. And do you see this? Jean, this is kind of like O sound, this is a vowel, this is not consonant. And K, K is a consonant, yes. And this is a final consonant, called 받침, 받침. So as you see here, Korean letter is consist of um, like this, consonant, vowel, and consonant. And the final consonant called 받침, 받침. And let's look at the second letter. Second letter is 짠. <gasps> Do you see this circle? Circle is kind of like Zero. It looks like zero, <laughs> which is -da -da -da. this is zero. Zero sound. It has no sound. So when you see this circle at the beginning of the syllable, beginning of the letter, please remember that this has no sound. And now let's see this one. Mm, this is kind of like you, you, you. So 목요일. This 목 second syllable 요. And let's look at the third syllable. Jun, jun, jun. This, ah, this is circle again. It means it has no sound. Bu, bu, bu. And let's look at this. What is it like? E, e, e. This is e sound, e sound. And now let's look at the 받침, the final consonant. This is kind of like L sound. So it's 일, 일, 일. So, 짠. 목, 요, 일, 목요일, 목요일, it means Thursday. And there are only two 받침 sound, which is this and this, the final consonant at the bottom. So, 짠, Korean, Korean letters are consist of these part. First, you always need to put consonant, consonant here. Always, you always need the consonant. Well, if there is no consonant sound, then do you remember the circle, the ear, which has no sound? So you always need something here, the consonant part, this consonant part. If there is no sound, there's only vowel sound, then put this circle, ear. And you always need a vowel. And as you see here, vowel can come here, or vowel can come here, or it can even come Hold this part, hold this part. It depending on the shape of the vowel. And these two, this consonant and this vowel are so important. They are always together. They should always be together to make a sound in Korean. You cannot have only consonant or you cannot have vowel only to make a Korean alphabet, Korean letter. You always need to combine these two, consonant and vowel, consonant and vowel. And if you want, you can put this final consonant, 받침, 
only if you want or only is necessary. This is optional, but if you put final consonant here, anyway, it's called 받침. 받침. So let me show you some example. Let me show you some example. Do you know the name of Korea in Korean? Is 짠. This is the consonant H, kind of like H in English. And this is like A sound. A sound. A. And this is kind of like N. So Han. Han. And this is G. G. Han. Gu. U sound is like G. This is U. This is kind of K. So Hanguk. Hanguk is name of the country. Name of the country. South Korea in Korean. And what are what are the bachim sound here? Now you know it. Bachim always comes at the bottom of the syllable. Always bottom. It's optional. So some letters don't have bachim. But well, in this case, there are bachim. So for example, this is bachim. This is bachim. So these are bachim and bachim are so important. And from this lesson and in the next few lessons, I'm going to introduce you about bachim. Here's the second question from Franklin. Thank you, Franklin. How many bachim sounds are there? As you know now, bachims are basically consonant. And these are Korean consonant. Wow, there are so many, right? But don't worry, there are only seven, seven, seven sounds. Not so many, just seven. <laughs> so although there are many consonants, we don't pronounce them all differently. There are only seven sounds, and I'm going to show you John like this now. So, John, let's look at the pink one. Do you see the pink one? <laughs> John, this, 기억, 기억. So this is kind of like G sound if you use it at the beginning of the syllable. John, this too, this is kind of K sound, and this is kind of like KK sound. Well, this is not KK sound, but well, in English, there's a no uh, alphabet that describes this sound. So in romanization, we use KK. So please understand that this is not exact uh, pronunciation in English, but it just uh, romanized this way. So anyway, these three alphabets are pronounced same way, although they look different. So please remember this kyo and this and this sangyo have the same sound. That's why I put in the same color, this pink. <laughs> now let's look at the blue ones. Do you find the blue one? Yes, it's there, here, first. Pew, pew. And this is pew, pew. And this is sangbyu, sangbyu. And they look different, but they are pronounced exactly the same way, just like at the end. But please know that Korean pronunciation are different. So how they are pronounced? I'll show you the first one, the pink ones first. Mm, do you know this word? Mo, mo. <laughs> it means neck or throat. Mo, mo, mo. And in the romanization, the pronunciation is like this. Mm. M -K, mo, mo. But probably as an English speaker, you read like this, muk, muk, but nope, nope. Korean pronunciation is different. Korean K is different. As a bachim, it's not muk, but it's muk, muk. You just block your throat. You don't hear muk, right? Nope, nook sound at the end. It's just like muk, muk, muk. <laughs> so it means neck, neck. And if, you wrote it like this, this kyuk sound. Hmm. It's not showing. <laughs> so I write it here. John, if you write it like muk or muk, Korean people will pronounce this exactly same way. But by the way, this sound, these letters don't exist, but I just wrote it as an example. Okay, so now let's look at this. Pube sound. Mm, do you know this word? Pop, pop. 
pap, it means cooked rice. It's rice, but it's cooked. It's not uncooked one, pap, rice. Yum, yum, yum. So, well, with the romanization, it will be B A P pap. You will read like this, right? If you are not familiar with the Korean alphabet, it's pap, pap. But again, we don't have this p, p sound. It's just a pap. That's it. It's not pop, pop. It's pop, pop, pop. So I wrote it as P sound here, P, 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 because, well, that's the official romanization rule, but we pronounce it differently. It's pop, pop, pop. Okay, so now let's look at the other one. Do you see the yellow ones? Yellow ones. There are so many, right? This, this, this. These, they are all different. They are all different here, but they are pronounced exactly the same way. Kind of like T at the end. T at the end. So for example, I have hmm, this word. Do you know? Hot? Hot? It means soon. Soon. So I'll study soon. <laughs> I'll study soon. Hot, hot. So it means soon. And do you know this word? Hot, hot. It means a place, place. So now I use different 받침, right? I use 전, 전, different 받침. But the pronunciation is exactly the same if they are used as a 받침. So for first one, I use this. Second one, I use this. 전, 전. So they look different, but the pronunciation is the same. Mm. <laughs> so it looks like, oh, there are so many consonants, so many patim, but actually there are only three. So now we look at three sounds, three different sounds. The pink one, the kind of K sound, and the blue one, kind of P sound, and the yellow one, kind of T sound. And now look, let's look at the other ones. So, John, how about this? How about this? This. This is relatively simple because when this, this sound is used at the beginning of the syllable and it's kind of like end sound, kind of. And even when it's used at the bottom, which is the patin position, it is still end sound. Same for this near sound, M sound, ing sound they don't change their pronunciation. So for example, I have this word. Hanel. Mm, Hanel. There is just one patim, right? One patim. Hanel. This. Dear. Dear. This. Dear. Jan. So this is still pronounced as kind of like L. <laughs> I don't like using the English uh, pronunciation or English alphabet name when I uh, introduce the Korean alphabet. But, well, for beginners, it's still necessary. So I'm saying it is L, but it is different from L because it's a different language with different pronunciation. But anyway, 하늘, it means sky, sky. How about this? Mm, 산. Oh, now I'm talking about the nature. San means mountain, mountain. San, san, san. There is one patim here and it's san, san. You hear the end sound at the end, right? Now I have this. Can you pronounce this? This means river, this river. Mm. And I said this one, John, this one, has no sound when it's used at the beginning of the syllable, right? <laughs> but when it's used as 받침, 받침, the final consonant, then it has ng sound, ng, ng, ng sound. So this is pronounced as 강, 강, 강. Do you hear? 강, 강, ng sound. So please remember this 이응, 이응 is very special. When it's used at the beginning of the syllable, mm, then it has no sound. When it's used as a 받침, as a final consonant, then it sounds like ng, so 강, 강. So 
짠! These are the 받침 sound, the basic 받침 pronunciation. And it's not so difficult. So when you pronounce 받침, please read out many times so you can get used to it. Here's the last question from Monty. Thank you, Monty. How does 이응 act as a 받침 placeholder? When the placeholder 이응 follows the syllable with 받침, the consonant in 받침 position replaces the 이응, 이응 consonant. What does that mean? So let me show you with these examples. 얼음, 얼음. 얼음 means ice, by the way. So when you read this letter, letter by letter, this is like this. 얼음, 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 얼음. Mm, it's difficult to pronounce, right? So we make these sounds connected. How? You see this 이응, 이응. This looks like zero, no sound. Actually, it has no sound because it's waiting for a 받침 sound. It wants to steal the 받침 pronunciation. How? 짠! There is this 받침 kind of L sound, right? It goes here. So it's written as 얼음, 얼음. But when we actually pronounce this word, it's like 얼음, 얼음. It's not 얼음, 얼음, 얼음. It's hard to pronounce it. It's naturally connected. It's naturally linked as in 얼음, 얼음, 얼음. Let's practice with another example, which is 금연, 금연, 금연. Mm, this circle. <laughs> the placeholder, 이응, 이응. It has no sound because it's waiting for 받침 sound, 받침. If there is any 받침 right before, right before circle, <laughs> placeholder, then John, these sounds goes here. So this placeholder steals the 받침 sound right before 이응, 이응, the circle. So when you read it letter by letter, it should sound like 금연, 금연, 금연. Oh, it's so difficult. So let's just link this sound as in 금연. 금연, 금연. It means no smoking. 금연, no smoking. And let's look at more examples. <laughs> 음악, 음악. If you read letter by letter, the first word, this one, then it's 음악, music. But it should be linked. And in the linguistic term, we say lenition. <laughs> but I don't like this difficult uh, term, but it's just... Uh, characteristic of 이응, the circle. It steals the 받침 sound. As in, 음악, 음악. It's not 음악, but it is, it goes here. 음악, 음악, music. Same here, do you see placeholder? Is this placeholder? Nope, this is 받침. When it's used as a 받침, then remember, the pronunciation is like this, ng. So what is the placeholder 이응? It's here. So it steals this sound as in just like 중국어 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 is Chinese, Chinese language. 중국어 And now we have John Crocodile. Let's look at this. John John so yes, there is 받침 and there is circle, the 이응 placeholder. Wow, perfect. Then it's like 아고, 아고, crocodile. <laughs> and now we have the graduation. Graduation in Korean is this, 아. And you see this 받침 and placeholder. So it goes here as in 졸업. It means graduation, 졸업, 졸업. And next, we have 짬, 받침, and this ooh, circle, placeholder. So it's still this sound as in 할인, 할인, 할인. Lastly, this goes here, right? So it's 포구, 포구, it means heavy rain, heavy rain. So there are many words that include 짬, this circle placeholder in Korean. So 
please practice a lot so you can get used to. That's it for this lesson. Today, I answered three questions about 받침. If you have any other questions, click the link in the description or go to koreanclass101.com slash ask hyphen Kjin. Thanks for watching. I'm Kjin and I'll see you on koreanclass101.com. 다음 시간에 봐요.